Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life 2. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I've actually uh, played Half-Life 2. So I'll just get going and we'll see what happens. Q. Oh! Fuck no! Nope, that's not what I want. I remember where I'm up to now. <laughs> That's good. No, oh, wrong one. Right. Freeman's back in the house, and he's angry. He's seething with silent rage, the only rage he has ever known. Tried to sneak up on me, did you? Oh. Yeah, that kind of hurts. I don't remember those enemies for some reason. I guess I just passed by them really quickly and they weren't very consequential. Stairs, trying not to die. Don't really know where I'm going. Right. Um, I can't remember if it's on this level or if it's next level up, but there should be a rocket stash somewhere. This is extremely dangerous. Do not try this at home, folks. If you happen to live by decrepit buildings. Right. Oh. Okay, I actually have. No. Go away. I'm going back to kill the dubstep cow. Where is he? Okay, not good. More! Give me more rockets! That doesn't work. What the hell is actually shooting me, though? Right, well, that's probably not very productive, so I'm just going to move on. Um, that's not... If I can actually move on. I don't recall that I can. Anyway. It's shooting at me, I have to get moving. Yeah, there we go. Loading screen. Cool. Moving on. Not going to kill that particular strider. Dr. Freeman. Yes. It's a mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to striders. I think we can push them back if we can just get to high ground. We're almost to the Citadel wall, Doc. You oh, must hell, we're gonna move out of my way. you made it this far. I'm sure you'll think of something. We have to get to the horse! I don't even know if there's a purpose for me to do that. Now it's being attracted. Can I have one too, please? Take this med kit. Thank you. Right, time to kick ass. Oh wait, those aren't our guys. I was a little bit confused there. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, yep, that ain't good. Whoa! Shit! Through the legs! Ah, the ground has collapsed under my feet. And I'm stuck underneath some cars. Ah, God damn it! Right. <laughs> Momentarily able to recover. Those guys are still alive. Good. Oh no, different guy. Oh no, the same guys. Same guys. Cool. This is rather hectic. And now I have an itchy eyebrow. This is the worst time for an itchy eyebrow. Oh shit. Strider. Crap. Not a lot of time left for thinking. Ah, shit. I'm supposed to be going. Yep, nope, not right. Quite stuck down here, aren't we? Move, medic. Okay, well, there goes the wall. That's one way of dealing with it. Come on, you've got to move fast. There's a strider out there. That's not what I want. God damn it! Right, still alive. Good. As I'm looking to just temporarily heal up. Right, now I gotta find that rocket launcher and deal with the strider once and for all. not proving to be very effective, because in order to aim I have to stand and get shot in the face. Right, going to charge up. Let's deal with the next one. Oh, it's the same one, I think. They 
take a lot of punishment for something that's so spindly looking. Sweet! That's a good sign. Alright, now which way do we want to go? I don't know. Same building, so weird. <laughs> Not quite sure what the horse is. What's the horse? What are you referring to when you say horse? It is certainly not shattered shins. Supposed to go back onto the street, perhaps? I doubt it. Yes, yeah, sorry, Doc. Nope, that's one of our guys. I think. How did he get up there? Hey, it's Freeman. You're not leaving without me. Nope, I don't seem to be leaving at all. Ah, right. Ha. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Yeah, I made it through without dying. Though I did shatter my shins again. Hey Barney, what up? Kind of sucked at throwing cars at these guys, dog. <laughs> dog came crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. No thanks. We'll just follow him. Come on, dog. Hey, dog! Not there. You can't get through that way. I guess we well, can. Damned. I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You better hurry. All right, dog. See you later. And if you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said <laughs> Fuck you. Was that the message I was supposed to pass on? If you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said fuck you. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> right. Our benefactors. It's time for hammers to be dropped. Man, it's been such a long time since I've actually uh, played through this section of Half-Life 2. It's still impressive. It's, it's still quite imposing when you see stuff like that. Right, jumping section. Quick save, because I know I'm going to fuck up at some point. It's not necessarily a jumping section, it's a more, of, more of a falling section. I'm good at falling, but not necessarily in the right places! <laughs> Okay. Nice. Nope. Oh god. Oh, I made it. I'm, I'm still alive. This is better than we'd hoped for. Right. That's falling down. When it comes up. Hutch! I may have lost a little bit of health there, but I'm still alive, so that's optimal. Okay, no, that's a that's a gap. That's a drop. We don't want to be on the drop. Okay. 
Cool. Oh yeah, it says things. Must mean we're getting closer. Wait, what's that? Right. So what is that doing? Sealing it or something? Doesn't sound pleasant. Right, time to get in and go for a ride. I always like this section. I mean, it's limited inter uh, limited interactivity. You can only look around, obviously. But um, what is this going to do? Is it going to hurt? It is going to hurt. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Right, so obviously, I meant to get on the the one that goes in the other way. That one. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't do that last time, evidently I was not that stupid the first time I played through Half-Life 2. And now I get this nice scenic ride. To look at all the post apocalyptic goodness of a human farm type thing. Ah, I can actually take my hands off the keyboard and mouse and stretch. Well, I enjoy this relaxing trip through the Citadel. And creepiness. Okay, Combine, don't look over here and notice that I am Gordon Freeman. Nope, that's cool. We're good. Kind of reminds me of a section from uh, Portal 2 as well. Um, sort of, I think, towards the end of Portal 2, where you're uh, fleeing from Wheatley. Having to jump off ridiculously um, huge gaps over poorly, well, no, not poorly constructed, uh, extremely damaged kind of industrial crevices. I have no idea what I'm saying, and I am really poor at describing it because it's been some time since I played Portal 2 and I can't really remember fully. Um, but if you've played Portal 2, you might know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh look, a train with more of those things on it. This will be quite the interesting theme park ride. But I think, uh... Well, that would be interesting. If they had the technology, a Valve uh, theme park would be fucking awesome. Have, like, uh, Half-Life 2 ride and... Um, 
uh, portal chambers to go through. If if only we had the technology for the actual the portal gun. Ah, oh, nuts! Give me my weaponry back. I love this gun. Hell's year. But yes. So this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Fuck you, Dr. Bream. But yes, long story short, Valve Theme Park, if we had the technology, would be the fucking best theme park in the world. Until then, we're just going to have to throw stuff around in video games and enjoy it.